you know, Sweden and Finland are one of the last things I think on people's minds. And it's relegated mostly, I think, to the people who think about this for a living, the foreign policy, national security professionals. Personally, I think that it is yet another example of what a bad strategist Putin is. I think for the longest time, Americans have made Putin out to be this 10 foot tall, perfect supervillain and the Russians behind him to be, you know, 12 feet tall supervillains who perfectly plan and execute all these um, subversive plans to undermine the West. And they do undermine the West, but it's not, you know, I think he has shown himself in this to be a rather poor strategist and even tactician. I mean, if, if your goal was to defeat NATO and to weaken NATO, all he's done is strengthen it and brought it even closer to its borders than it was before. There's the issue of the blockade on the Black Sea uh, coast where Ukraine has many ports from which this grain sets sail for the rest of the world. It's also very hard to get things in or out of Russia in part because, uh, excuse me, of Ukraine, in part because Russia is bombing railways and strategic uh, points where to stop the flow of weapons from the West to Ukraine. Um, there's also the issue of fighting happening in large parts of kind of open space in Ukraine where grain is grown. And the question is, will the situation in these areas be stable enough for people to plant crops, to tend to them, to harvest them, to process them? Or is the, are the front lines going to keep moving back and forth and prevent people from doing so. I don't think it's, uh, you know, this isn't new for Putin to be weaponizing something so fundamental. You know, in 2015, 2016, when Putin sent Russian forces into Syria, he very clearly weaponized refugee flows from Syria to undermine Europe, to undermine the West. Um, and it's arguably one of the things that led to Brexit and a kind of crack in the facade of EU unity. So this would not be the first time that Putin would weaponize human suffering for his own political goals.